guys welcome back to my channel for anyone new here my name is Alana and in today's video I am gonna help you decide whether or not you should buy the Dyson era video I'm going to start by showing you my Dyson era kit I am going to talk you through all the attachments explain what each attachment does the pros and cons just overall of the Dyson era help you decide whether or not you should get it and then I am gonna finish off this video by sharing an exciting little giveaway that I'm doing for all of you make sure you stay tuned for all of that let's go Okay, so I got the Dyson Era Complete Long, and that basically means that I got the longer barrels, and it comes in this beautiful case. I was actually a little bit disappointed because this actually wasn't the color I wanted. My sister got the beautiful red color, but because she has short hair, she just got the Dyson Era Complete, and that basically comes with the shorter barrels. Because I got the Complete Long, at the time, it only came on this colorway, but I do know that Dyson have brought out a limited edition gift set now for Christmas. And it comes in a beautiful Persian blue and rich copper colorway and you can get it in the complete long. So if you decide after watching this video that you're gonna buy the Dyson Airwrap and you want the complete long, if you have long hair by the way, I totally recommend getting that one, then you need to go buy that colorway because it is honestly, oh, it's so gorgeous. In fact, I actually just got the Dyson Coral in the same color way and it is so beautiful okay so it comes in this box you get this little thing that sits on top it's basically a little mat that you can set your Dyson on after using it because it does get pretty hot inside you have everything again it was kitted out a lot nicer than this. This is me just kind of repackaging it for the purpose of this video. Of course, the first thing you get is the device itself. First pro that I want to talk about with this is the length of the lead. The lead is a really, really decent length. Like I absolutely hate whenever you get hair appliances and the lead is super short. And if your plug's a little bit further away and isn't situated in a good spot, good position then you're constantly having to move things around and pull in the lead whereas this is a really really good lead. Also super light it's not heavy at all I was super surprised at how light it was which brings me on to my next pro is that this dries your hair super fast so much more than traditional hair dryers and of course my arm never gets sore holding it because it's just super light and guys okay this is the last pro that I'm going to tell you about the actual device the actual I just don't know what I refer to this as shaft <laughs> my mind's just going somewhere really dirty right now <laughs> if there's anyone under 18 watching this they're not gonna get why I'm laughing so the actual shaft device hair dryer do you know what I'm talking about thing is that there is no you know traditional hair dryers it has those things on the back like those fan things and this is actually what made me realize how much I appreciated this because a few days ago I said in an Airbnb and I made the mistake of not bringing this with me and I just used the normal hair dryer that was in the Airbnb first of all it took I think I was blow drying my hair for almost 30 minutes and it's still it, it was just over half dry it was still so wet second of all it made my hair so frizzy like so much more frizzy than normal whereas whenever I blow dry my hair with this it makes my hair so much less frizzy which actually in fact is another pro but whilst I was blow drying my hair with the traditional shitty hair dryer my hair got caught in the back you know those little fan things that's in the back of a hair dryer my hair got caught in it completely wound up and I ended up having to cut a big chunk of my hair out to actually get my hair out of the fan whereas like you don't have that issue with this there's none of those shitty little fan stuck to it that your hair is gonna get caught on I mean guys I just feel like that in itself is like for me like one of the best pros of the Dyson Airwrap hair dryer so my boyfriend loves this he's actually my fiance but I, like 
this is really weird but i don't know about you but like i always feel weird calling my fiance i feel like it sounds like a bit like pretentious which i know is absolutely ridiculous because it's not but i just feel so weird being like my fiance but then i'm like boyfriend sounds like too like casual so i just always refer to him as my partner okay now i'm just blabbering on but i'm intrigued does anyone else feel like weird using the word fiance if they have a fiance i feel like once he's my husband i'm gonna feel comfortable saying husband but the word fiance i just can never bring myself to call him my fiance and it's not that i don't want to be engaged with him i absolutely do i just feel weird about the actual word itself okay now i'm just rambling i'm gonna stop so the next attachment that i am going to talk about is the two smoothing brushes oh so you have two of them you have ones with the little pink bobble this is basically the soft smoothing brush so i recommend anyone with flyaway thin hair to use this one and this is the firm smoothing brush anyone with thicker frizzier hair coarse hair like me you use this one basically use this to smooth out and to sweeten your hair. I've seen that a lot of people were having issues and they were saying like, especially people with hair like me, like frizzy curly hair, they were saying that they just could not get a poker straight, silky non-frizz look by using these. But I have since made a video that a lot of people have found really, really useful. I would advise you go watch this because you can absolutely oh God, get perfectly so straight, silky, non-frizz, smooth hair by using these smoothing brushes. You just have to know how to use them correctly. The next attachment I'm going to talk about is my favorite attachment in the Dyson Airwrap kit and completely the most underrated one, and that is the round brush. There's lots of hair in this. I'm sorry, I can't be bothered cleaning it out. I use this attachment every single day. I love it and I see anyone who says that they do not love this I'm sorry but you just have not learned how to use it because once you learn how to use this this will literally be your favorite attachment as well because it is so multifunctional it literally does everything so you can straighten your hair with this I also use this round brush to curl my hair of course my favorite hairstyle of all time is the bouncy blow dry and um, I've made a video on that if you want to go watch that this is literally my go-to hairstyle with the Dyson Airwrap uh, the last attachments that I'm going to talk about and I feel Feel like are the most popular ones in the Dyson Airwrap kit is of course the barrels. You get four barrels, you have two thinner barrels and you have two thicker barrels. But actually what makes the Dyson Airwrap long? This is what the long is referring to, these longer barrels because if you get the Dyson Airwrap complete that comes with these four barrels but they're shorter so they're better for shorter hair. Personally I feel like you see if investing in the Dyson Airwrap kit I would 100 100% get the complete long even if you have short hair because what happens if like a year or two down the line you decide that you want to grow your hair and then you have to go and more money getting the long barrels whereas I'm like the long barrels work for short hair and they also work for long hair okay so let's talk about what you can do with these you can use these to curl your hair and you can use these to weave your hair I have hair tutorials on both if you want to go check them out a lot of people struggle to style their hair in a way that these barrels hold it they will curl or weave their hair with this but the curls and the waves never stay in because again because you are using hot air sometimes it just doesn't hold for as long if you were using a tongue or a hair straightener to do that style personally I feel like I would rather have a curler wave that lasts a little bit less time it causes less damage to my hair than have a curl or wave that lasts longer but causes so much more damage to my hair that's the way that I feel about it also there is so many products out there that you can use that will help you hold your curls and your waves longer I talk up a lot about them in my other videos and I will be mentioning them at the end of this video because it involves my giveaway that's pretty much all the attachments covered now I'm just gonna tell you my pros and cons overall of the diet an air app so first of all the pro is super dynamic and multifunctional since I have got the Dyson air app my straighteners have literally become redundant because this literally does everything I want it can curl my hair wave my hair bounce blow dry my hair straighten my hair dry my hair it can do everything I want to do to my hair it has made all other appliances redundant the second biggest pro for me is I have found that it's caused so much less damage to my hair than using traditional straighteners 
or traditional tongs or hair dryers. This air app actually has technology in it so that it regulates the temperature and so that it purposely doesn't cause as much damage to your hair and I've really found a noticeable difference. I hardly have any split ends anymore whereas I used to have so many split ends. Hair is grown so much quicker since using it, it's gotten so much thicker and that is purely because it's not getting damaged as much because I have stopped using my straighteners. The third pro is that it has literally made me fall in love with doing my hair again. It used to take me so long to do my hair. I literally have to spend like 30 minutes drying it and then another 30 minutes styling it. Airwrap has cut that down in half. It now just takes me 30 minutes to dry and style it because with all these attachments, you can dry and style your hair at the same time. You do not have to do both things individually. You know what? That's the one thing in the world that you cannot buy. You cannot buy time. Every day that I was styling my hair, I could not buy another 30 minutes back. I just feel like anything in life that is going to save you time is totally worth it. So those are the three main pros. I'm sure there's so many more pros, but I'm not gonna bore you by going into every single one of them. Those are the three main ones that I feel like really made the Dyson Air app worth it for me. The cons, honestly, I feel like the only con is the price. And guys, I don't even feel like that's a massive con. So many people put off buying it because of the price, but here is why I don't think you should get put off by the price. The first thing is, if you get the Dyson Air app, you no longer need to buy hair straighteners, you no longer need to buy a hair dryer, you no longer need to buy tongs, because I don't know about you, but before I had the Dyson Air app, I would get a new like hair dryer, like maybe like every year or every other year, and again, new hair straighteners every year or every other year, because I used them both so much, they would just kind of stop functioning as well. The second reason why I think that it is worth the money is because it holds its value. So say for example, you buy the Dyson Air app, First of all, I believe that Dyson do like a money back guarantee. So if you buy it and you don't like it, you can return it within a certain time frame. Also, if it's outside of that time frame, you can resell it. And because it is such a sought after device, you can resell it, make almost your money back. Also, you can buy it with discount. I actually bought my Dyson Air app whenever there was 20% off. Just keep an eye out. Obviously follow all the third party sites to sell it and obviously just keep an eye on Dyson itself and just have a look and see when they're doing money off or if they're doing any deals because that is a good time to buy it whenever you get discount. You can also have a look on Facebook Marketplace, have a look on eBay and see is anyone selling one so you can buy it and try it out. Generally it's something that if people are reselling they've looked after because people People tend to look after things that they pay a lot of money for. So I think you all know where this is going. I personally feel like the Air app is completely worth it. Actually, whenever I looked into buying it, I was put off a little bit by people's reviews saying that it was disappointing, it didn't live up to what they expected. But I honestly just feel like a lot of people who write reviews that just have not learned how to use it properly. It is one of those things that it does require practice and patience, like I said earlier. And I think that if you watch lots of YouTube tutorials and pick up lots of hints and tips and just practice with it, you can get the hang of it. Since I've released my videos, I've had so many people comment saying that I have helped them fall in love with their air app again, or it's been sitting in the box and they haven't used it. And since watching my videos, they have now started to use it again and they've learned how to use it properly and they're really enjoying it. Guys, it's like honestly like my best friend. Like I love it so much coming up to christmas time it may be something you want to add on your christmas wish list so guys if you decide that you do want to buy the dyson air app i have got a link in my description where you can click and go through to exactly the one that i have purchased if you want to purchase that one go you make the decision based on everything that i have told you so yeah let's get to the exciting bit giveaway time I I launched my YouTube channel probably only about two and a half months ago and about two weeks ago I got monetized and guys I thought it would take me at least like six months to a year to get monetized so getting monetized this quickly is absolutely amazing so I kind of want to just celebrate that because I feel like it's all of you amazing ladies and of course gents watching these videos I honestly just feel so passionate 
about great beautiful hair because like, I don't know about you guys but like I can literally be wearing the shittest outfit and just look like shit but the minute that I do my hair I just feel a million dollars. There's just something about having your hair done that just makes you feel good. Because I have seen quite a few people have commented on my recent videos that they struggle to get their hairstyles to hold with the Dyson Airwrap I have decided to do a giveaway of products that have helped my hairstyles hold amazing with the Dyson Airwrap and even if you don't have the Dyson Airwrap and if you decide after this video not to buy it these are still really good hair products that you can just use to style your hair with any clients whether it's hair straighteners, tongs, hair dryer. These are the products that I am giving away. In order to enter this competition all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and comment on my video below. You can comment whatever you want. Literally you can write whatever you want it doesn't matter just nothing bad. If it's a negative comment I'm sorry but you're not a part of the competition. It has to be a positive comment. We'll be drawing the winner on December 17th, 2021. Enter this competition from anywhere in the world. I will be announcing the winner over on my Instagram. So if you wanna go give me a follow over there, I will be putting it on my stories. Also be replying to the person who commented on the video, letting them know that they have won. So make sure you either follow me on Instagram or you check back in on December 17th on your comment to see whether or not it is you that has won. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Good luck to everyone who enters my competition. Let me know whether or not this video has made you want to buy the Dyson app. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.